Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. Bait and Sopo wrote in and asked how I removed some events triggering from a pattern in a much older video. It's not necessarily the way I would go about doing it now, uh, but there's two main methods that I would consider doing this. So I've got a pattern here. We're just gonna play it. And just really quick so I can review where stuff is, I'm gonna go to sample mode so I can see, looks like I got drum hits here on bank A. And if I go to bank C, we can see I've got some, probably the melody. Go to bank B, nothing, D, nothing. So it's like, it looks like we're just in bank A and bank C. So I'm just gonna stop this. And for the first method, what you wanna do is, if you just copy your pattern, so I'm just going copy from pattern one to two, and then just hit copy to do it. We've now got an exact duplicate of the pattern that we just had. So if I play it, it's gonna sound exactly the same. I need to be in record mode to be able to do this kind of edit where you you can delete notes in real time. So we're just waiting for it to hop over. And basically what you do is you hit delete. And now anytime I hold down a note, it will remove it. So if I want to just remove, say, the drums from the, from, uh, the second bar, I just hold it down. And now you'll see it's going to play for the first bar and it's cut out for the second bar. If I want to get rid of all of them, I just hold it down for the whole bar. But this is where I would say, if you want to get rid of all of them, there's a, a better method we'll get to in a second. But just to help explain, basically what we've done is we've copied a pattern that had more events in it than what we necessarily wanted for like a breakdown or something or a drop or whatever. And we wanted to get rid of those notes. So if you want to ba basically be able to remove the notes like when they, the events are happening, maybe not all of them, I would say use this erase method. Just remember you need to be in record and then you just hit the delete button and whenever you hit notes, it will remove them. The other way that I would go about doing this now with, I think they introduced this in firmware three, if I remember correctly, but if you just go copy, we go one to three, we can hit the remain button and then we can choose specifically which ones we want to copy. So what we're going to see here is the pads are going to light up for where there are events. And if we don't want to copy, say, if we do want to copy all the melodic parts, we just tap those notes and light them up bright. And maybe we want like the hat, the hats in here as well. So all I have to do is hit copy and it's now just got the hats We've in the mel melody still, but we've removed out the kick and the snare. So, Two different ways to do this. Uh, hopefully that helps you out. And uh, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.